Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Jam Code Project. Today I have something a bit simpler planned than other times I've already designed this in creative. Uh, but basically today we're going to be doing an automated sugar cane farm and I'm going to be building it pretty big. Uh, what I need sugar cane for is trading with villagers to get a bunch of emeralds to get like little good stuff. Um, and also why not? But basically that sugar cane farm won't do, because I have to do it manually, and also it doesn't look cool. Alright, and a little while later I have this cleared out here. Um, it should be big enough for three 30 long, 32 long sets of thing that I have planned. I have collected a bunch of cobble, um, so I'm just going to go craft everything now, and then I think we'll get to building. I need iron. Like, real bad. Okay, so I'm just here checking out a uh, sugarcane farm that Josh has. Um, it's pretty big, but it's not automated. Therefore, I have to build something bigger and automated. Yeah, this is pretty big. There's one harvest of this should give you like a chest full of, of sugarcane. But yeah, anyway. Pretty cool what he's building here, I like it. I like it very much. But it's time that we built our own. Okay, so we should probably start building this now. Um, right over here it's gonna start, so this is gonna be where the first plant is. Um, well, there. And I'm gonna have ice in the middle. So let's run some ice. And this is going to be 30 something blocks long. Um, so each one of these sections is going to be, there's going to be sections. Each one is going to be eight long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, now there's not my silk touch pick. Then on the ninth one, uh, there's going to be a hopper because that's how long water runs for. And there's going to be a sign there. So water's going to run to the end there. And there's going to be a hopper on, on the end of each one of these. So that, uh, yeah, stuff goes into the hopper, I guess. Okay, so I've made a decision. I'm gonna make the water run all the way. Um, there will be a break there though for water to stop because there's gonna be a sign. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem because if an item lands there, then it will stop all other items passing by for five minutes until it despawns. Um, adding onto a stack does, knowing, does not reset the despawn timer, so at least, that, at least that's gonna be fine, but yeah, let me just place all this stuff here. Um, in total, one of these rows is gonna have one stack of sugarcane growing, and I'm short on dirt, apparently. Let's grab some more. So this is where the sugarcane's gonna grow. And then two blocks up here, we're gonna put pistons. And again, we're gonna use a lot of pistons and lots of iron for this. Okay, so pistons are gonna go there. And then above that, we're gonna put observers uh, facing that way. Uh, let me get the observers out. This is a lot of observers. Um, okay, so we're gonna have observers facing in that direction. Because we have all the blocks above here and then alternating them like so. Um, one of these uh, the normal ones, the ones without the repeaters, they will give the piston a double extend, but that's it. Uh, because there's a delay with the repeaters, which will only extend it once before the sugarcane breaks and updates this again. Uh, but the ones without the repeaters, these ones here, alternating, that'll give the piston a double extend, which shouldn't be a problem. I don't know if, how much lag that will cause, like, if you were to have this on a bigger scale, but yeah, just keep that in mind, that it will not always work perfectly. Alright, everything is built. The only thing I have to do is plant the sugar cane. I have used up the last of my resources to build this one row, and I need two more of these. Well, five more if I want to stack them, or even more. But yeah, I've used up the last of my resources. I used up all the coal I had to smelt stuff for the stone bricks. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm going to need to get around to making the iron farm. I'll see what I can do with the villagers off camera here between today and tomorrow. Um, prep for next episode and hopefully build the iron farm because I really need it. But yeah, this should now be working. It will take a little while to get going because these haven't, haven't grown at all yet. So yeah, should be fully automatic. Cool, cool. Gonna build more of these eventually. But yeah, I think that's about it for today. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye bye. Okay, one small thing I forgot. I need to add the minecarts underneath here so that they can pick up the drops. And looks like I need to put torches here as well. Cool, see you next one.